Okay, welcome back, guys, to another video from CXC Mad Tutor. And um, this time I'm looking at the May 2019 CXC CSET Maths Pass paper, question number five. All right, so question number five from the May uh, 2019 CXC CSET Maths Pass paper. All right, of course, um, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel to like and share the video as well. All right? And please leave your comment, um, you, know, you know, give some information based on what you did on the exam, all right? Okay, so the cumulative frequency distribution of the volume of petrol needed to fill the tanks of 150 um, different vehicles is shown below. So we're we giving the volumes, all right? so this is a class, um, different classes here, all right? And we're giving the cumulative frequency. All right, so notice that um, what is missing from this table here is the frequency um, column. Because right? let, me, let me just say this because in a lot of the exams, as it relates to statistics, questions like this group, group distributions, generally speaking, you're given the group data, you're given data um, grouped in different classes, and you'll be given the frequency column. And then you'll be asked to calculate or find the missing values of the cumulative frequency column. All right. Now, in this question, it's a little bit different from um, the other questions that while you're practicing um, past papers, you were accustomed to. All right. In this question, you're given the cumulative frequency values, all right? and, it, and you're not given the frequency values. All right. Now, if you were to continue read the question here, all right, there are certain questions, especially part B here and part C, requires that you have the, the frequency values. And there's no way you can calculate, for example, um, right, it would be much easier for you to calculate part B if you have the, the frequency data. For example, how many vehicles were recorded in the, the class 31 to 40? Okay. What's, in other words, you're asking, this is the question you're being asked, what is the frequency of that particular class, 31 to 40? All right, um, part C, I believe, when I look at the question, it's a question that's to do with probability. All right. Again, it will be helpful for you to have the frequency data um, in order for you to um, answer, answer such a question, all right? So what you can do is to reconstruct the, the, cumulative, distributive, the cumulative, cumulative distribution table to include the frequency data, the frequency column, because that's not there. As I said before, generally speaking, usually you're given the different classes, you're given a column for the frequency, and you've been asked to calculate the cumulative frequency. In this question, you're given the cumulative frequency, and you're obviously you have to, you, are, you weren't asked to calculate the frequency, but it would be helpful for you to have the frequency columns um, in order to answer the questions, some of the questions. All right. So let's do that then. Let's calculate the um the frequency data here, the frequency information. All right. So I'm gonna have a column here, a column here for the frequency. All right, now the frequency and the, the frequency and the cumulative frequency, the first value for the first class, and this number here is always the same for the cumulative frequency and the frequency. All right. Now, if this was the frequency column, column and you ask to calculate the cumulative frequency, for example, what you will do is to add. And you take, for example, uh, the frequency plus 
if this was a, if these were the frequency values, for example, you take the frequency, this, and this is cumulative frequency, frequency that you're trying to calculate. So you take this plus this gives you that, and that plus this give you that, and this plus that give you that, and this plus that give you this. And of course, the last number for your frequency would have been 150. For, sorry, the last number for your, for your cumulative frequency would have been 150, okay? But in this question, you're given a cumulative frequency instead, and you're asked to calculate the frequency values, okay? So when you're calculating the cumulative frequency, you will add the frequencies. Well, if you're given a cumulative frequency as a calculated frequency, we're going to subtract because we're doing the opposite of what you would normally do, okay? Because to undo an addition, the opposite of addition is subtraction. So if you add to get the cumulative frequency, then you have to subtract in order to get the frequency, okay? So if it's much easier for you, you can label these A different variables, B, C, and D. All right. And we know that 24 plus A has to give you uh, 59, which represents the cumulative. Remember, the cumulative frequencies are running total. Right? They're running total. All right. So you can form an equation equal to 24 plus A has to be 59. All right. And using my calculator here, I could say A is equal to 59 minus 24. So using my calculator, all right, all right, let's clear this. So um, 59 minus 24 is gonna equal to 35. So this is 35, all right? And we know that 24 plus 35 plus some number B should give you 101. Because I, as I said before, the cumulative frequency represents a running total, the total frequency up to this point. Okay. That's what we're talking about. So, um, so we can say, okay, then, well, 24 plus 35 plus B, that should equal 101. Okay. And of course, 24 plus 35 is a 59 that we have here. So 59 plus B is equal to 101 and B is equal to 101 minus 59, all right? So using my calculator here, let me clear this, all right? So I have um, 101 minus 59, it's gonna give me 42, okay? So you can see that in order for me to calculate the frequency, I take the 59 minus 24, you get 35. 101 minus 59, get 42. 129 minus 101, all right? So let's clear this. So 129 minus 101. It's gonna give me 28, all right? That's my C. And 150 minus um, 29 right. minus 129 is going to give me 21. And note that my total frequencies, if I were to take 24 plus 35 plus 42 plus 28 plus 21, that should equal to 150. Right. Okay, so let's answer some of the questions now, all right? Um, for the class 21 to 30, determine the lower class limit, all right? Now the, the sorry, the lower class boundary. Um, so the, the class boundary is actually a theoretical value, all right? And so for, for example, 11, 21, 31, 41, and 51, those are what they call a, the lower class limits. All right, now if I subtract 0.5 from each one of these, that's gonna give me the lower class boundary. So for example, if I have 11 and I subtract 0.5, that's gonna give me 10.5, it's gonna give me 20.5 and 30.5.
and 40.5 and 50.5. So, the, so these 0.5 values now represent the, the lower class boundaries for each class. And of course, you have the upper class boundary as well. So to find the upper class boundary, we'll add 0.5. All right, so this is the 20.5, 30.5, 40.5, 50.5, and 60.5 for the upper class boundary. But the question is now asking for the lower class boundary for this particular class, which is this one here. All right, so the answer is going to be 20.5. 20 20.5 20 is the answer for the lower class boundary for the class 21 to 30. All right. Okay. And... Um, Part two, find the class limit. Now the class limit, sorry, not the class limit, the class width, sorry, the class width is actually the difference between the upper class boundary and the lower class boundary. That's how you calculate it, all right? So for this class, um, the, this is 20.5, that's gonna be the upper class boundary with 30.5, so you add 0.5 to get the upper class boundary. You add 0.5 to the upper class limit in order to get the upper class boundary, all right? So if I take the difference between the upper class boundary and the lower class boundary, that will give me the, the class width, all right? So 30.5 minus 20.5, all right? So using my calculator here, that's gonna give me 10, all right? So this will give me my class width. So the answer is 10 for part two. All right. Okay. Um, how many vehicles were recorded in the class um, 31 to 40? So we're looking at part B now. How many vehicles were recorded in the class 31 to 40? All right, so we're going to the class 31 to 40. As you can see here, this is a class here, 31 to 40. So to find out how many vehicles, we just simply look at the frequency, right, which is going to be 42. Okay. All right. So the answer will be 42. Because the frequency represents the vehicles. So how many vehicles were recorded in the class 31 to 40 is um, 42. So the class 31 to 40 has, has 42 vehicles, all right? That's your answer, 42 vehicles. Okay. But C, a vehicle um, is chosen at random from uh, the 150 vehicles. What is the probability that the vehicle, that the volume of petrol needed to fill its tank is more than 50.5 liters? What's the probability that the volume of petrol needed to fill the tank is um, fill its tank is more than 50.5 liters. Okay, let's go back to the table here. All right, so more than 50.5. So more than 50.5 will fall into this class here from 51 to, um, well, as I said before, um, the lower class boundary is the theoretical value. It actually starts from, the class actually starts from 50.5 up to 60.5, right? So even though the question is okay, 50.5, and as I said before, that's gonna fall into this class here between 51 to 60, all right? So even though it says 51 to 60, keep in mind that the theoretical value, the, the the actual value starts from 51.5 up to 60.5. So that 51.5 in the question for the probability actually falls in this class here, which corresponds to a frequency of 21. So the probability is actually going to be 21 out of 
150 vehicles, 21 vehicles out of 150 vehicles. And of course, you can reduce this if you want. You can leave your answer like this or you can reduce this. You could say 3 into 21 goes 7 times and 3 into 150 goes 50. So the answer would be 7 out of 50 or you could leave the answer as 21 out of um, 51 vehicles. Okay. So that's, that would be the answer for part C. Right. So the answer for part C will be 7 out of 50 right, is the answer. Or you could leave it as 21 out of um, 50. Right. We'd like to reduce our fractions. Okay, part D. Uh, Byron estimates the median amount of um, petrol to be 43.5 liters. Explain why Byron's estimate is incorrect. Is since he is estimating the the median to be four to three point five, and explain why Byron's estimate is incorrect. All right. So let's let's actually calculate the median for something like this. Remember, the median is n plus one, one half of the n plus one. Right. That's not the median, but that's the position of the median. Position of the median is to take a half of n plus 1, where n represents the, the total um, number of um, vehicles in this example. All right? So this will give me my position. Now, this is not the actual median, but it gives me the position of the median, where the median will be located um, in the distribution. All right? So that's going to be 1 half of 150 plus 1. All right? It's going to be 1 half of 151 which is going to give me um, 75. Let me just use my calculator here just to make sure I get the right thing. 151 divided by 2 is going to give me 75.5. All right, so that's going to be the 75.5 position. That's where the, the median should be located. All right, so let's just see, using my table here, in which class I'm going to have the 75 Point five position. Now, as I can see that, looking at cumulative frequency, right, that this is my 24th position and, 20, and, and this add up to 59, but I, and I need 75.5. So 75.5 position would be here, which is going to be in this class, between 31 to 40. Right? But they're saying it's, uh, which, which, which would give me, um, uh, I mean, 35 vehicles, but we're talking about liters. The question talks about 43.5 um, volume of uh, uh, liters of, um, of petrol, All right? So now, um, of course, 43.5 is not in this um, class here. Right? 43.5 is not in this class. That's why um, Byron is incorrect. Right? 43.5 is actually is going to be in this class. Right? But the position for the median should be here in this class. The, the, the position is 75.5, which is going to be somewhere here, right? which will fall into this class here, right? between 31 to 40. But is liters of petrol, 43.5, is not here. It's here. Mm -hmm. And that's why E is incorrect. So the median will not be here, but it will be here. All right? Okay. So you could say that for part C, you could say, in that part C, part D, you could say Byron estimates, uh, Byron is incorrect. Right. Byron is incorrect. Right. Oh, Byron is wrong. Same thing. So Bar Byron is incorrect. Um because, because the position 
of the median um, is 75.5, right? which, which is in the class, um, which was it, uh, what did I say? It was 31 to 40. All right, so remember the, this class it represents liters right, of petroleum. And Byron is saying that the estimate for the median is going to be 43.5, which is not in this class. And that is why Byron is incorrect. Okay. But the correct median is, of course, is in this class. All right. So Byron is incorrect because the, the position of the of the median is 75.5, which is in the um, the class 31 to 40. Um, of course, I mean you guys can word this a little bit differently. Um, if you get this question correct, um, tell me what you how you in a comment um, to this video, um, you can say um, how did he word it, All right? Um, part D, for example. And of of course, you know, as a comment to this video, you can just say, for example, oh well, you did. Did you get it correct? Um, did you get it incorrect? Uh, what did you do um, on the exam? Right? And then, of course, I'm a, I will try my best to reply to your comments and so forth. All right. So uh, the comments is to um, get everybody engaged and to have an understanding as to um, how well you guys did on the exam and what are some of the mistakes that you made. All right. And how can you avoid those mistakes if you were to do the exam again? For example, in January 2020. All right, that's, that's the whole purpose of leaving comments and so forth. All right, so um, leave a comment on this and remember to please like or share, subscribe or share this video. All right, so that's it for this video. We will continue with um, the past paper. Of course, we're going to do the entire past paper. All right, and um, so we'll stop at question five here, and then the next video we we'll move on to question six. All right, so that's it for this video.